हेलो फ्रेंड्स और टुडेज टॉपिक इज पिक सिक्सटीन एफ एट सेवन सेवन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पेरिफेरल फीचर्स ऑफ पिक सिक्सटीन एफ एट सेवन सेवन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड पिन डायग्राम विथ पिन स्पेसिफिकेशन और पिन फंक्शंस ऑफ पिक सिक्सटीन एफ एट सेवन सेवन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो द Features of PIC 16F 877A microcontroller are: it is an 8-bit microcontroller, that is, it works on 8-bit data. The number of pins are 40, and its package is DIP package, that is, dual in-line package. 20-20 pins are uh, aligned in a one direction or one side, and on other side, 20 pins are aligned. The operating voltage for PIC 16F 877A is from 2 volt onwards to 5.5 volt uh, volt, and it is um, based on or depends on the package that is DIP or SMD package is also there. So for SMD package, the required supply voltage is reduced as compared to the DIP package. Out of 40 pins, the I/O pins that is input output pins available in PIC 16F are 33 and these pins are splitted into five ports that is five io ports are there port a b c d and e port a consists of six io pins port b c and d consists of eight io pins each port and port e consists of three io pins the pic 16 of 877 a microcontrollers having inbuilt adc module which is capable of handling the eight analog inputs with the resolution capacity of 10 bit resolution so as the 10 bit resolution is there the analog input signal is divided or split into 2 raised to 10 that is 1024 um, parts and pic 16f 877a microcontroller includes three timers That is timer zero, timer one, and timer two. Mm -hmm. Out of these three timers, timer zero is eight bit timer, timer one is sixteen bit timer, and timer two is again eight bit timer. Two comparators are also available for comparison purpose. Uh, DAC is not included for the communication with other peripherals, that is devices or other controllers. PIC supports uh, various Peri peripherals for communication, and in that USART, which carries synchronous as well as asynchronous type of communication, in in that USART is mostly used with the setting of baud rate, and for the synchronous type of communication, SPI and I2C is useful for synchronous type of communication, which is generally known as master slave type of communication. PIC 16F supports Up to the 20 megahertz crystal oscillator, that is maximum crystal oscillator connected to the peak is 20 megahertz. Internal oscillator is not included. That is, we need to connect the external crystal oscillator at oscillator one, oscillator two pins, which are uh, uh, shown in the next diagram. That is, pin diagram, pin number 13 and 14. Program memory used in peak 16F is a flash type of program memory. And having the capacity of eight kilobytes, flash program memory is uh, supports for uh, reprogramming or multiple times programming and erasing, so which is helpful for editing the programs, which is not completely finalized till now. And the CPU speed is uh, like in terms of MIPS. MIPS is nothing but millions of instructions per second. That is, instructions execution speed in second is. Here, five MIPS is there. That is, five millions instructions are executed in single second. RAM size is 368 bytes, and data is square root of is having 256 bytes capacity. So these are the some peripheral simplified feature. Again, PIC 16F uses the RISC architecture. PIC 16F uses the pipelining. PIC 16F uses the hardware architecture, which carries separate. Uh, Lines for accessing program memory and data memory also with the separate storage of program memory and data memory. So most of the instructions are executed in single machine cycle. So these are the some peripheral features: brownout reset, 
power on reset oscillator startup timer these are the features watchdog timer is also available as we have discussed in our uh, first topic that is uh, introduction and um, overview of the peak so same features are also available in the version that is peak 16 of 877a microcontroller so these are the some features after that we move towards the pin diagram here peak 16 of 877 consists of a 40 pin dipic further versions are also smd TQFP packages are also available. We see the basic version that is DIP dual inline package. One side consists of 20 pins and another side consists of 20 pins. So these uh, 40 pins are distributed in a five IO ports along with some um, supply connections that is uh, VDD and ground connections with crystal connectors reset. So if we see it is started from first pin that is mclr bar is nothing but the active low signal which is reset reset is applied to the controller with the help of pin number one after uh, reset from pin number two uh, first port that is port a which is indicated as ra0 up to the ra5 that is six io pins are there and they are uh, nominated as ra0 ra1 ra2 ra3 ra4 ra5 and like this so uh, additional pin functions along with the io pins again mentioned that is an02 an0 an1 like an2 an3 and an4 excluding the ra4 pin which is not consist of the analog input so here the five io pins are used for analog inputs also from port a so these this is the additional pin function that is uh, capturing the analog signal with the port A. If we see the uh, next pins are related to pin number 11, 12 or VCC and ground. Again pin number 32 and 31 are VCC and ground. So here two supply connections are provided for the peak microcontrollers as the current sync and sourcing capacity of peak is also more as compared to the MCS51. After that oscillator connections are there and then port C starts for port C and port D, uh, if we see in the, in the diagram, first four pins from port C are there. After that, first four pins of port D. Again, uh, uh, next part, uh, last four pins, that is a uh, higher nibble of port C uh, and then higher nibble of port D. So, in this way, the four, four pins from port C and D are um, included in sequence so here uh, pin number 15 consists of rc0 like rc0 rc1 rc2 rc3 and after that rd0 rd1 rd2 and rd3 and then next rc4 rc5 rc6 and rc7 and after that rd4 rd5 rd6 and rd7 so in this manner four four pins are assigned for the port c and d the additional pin functions for port c are ccp12 synchronous clock and uh, tx rx related to the rc6 and rc7 and these are the some uh, additional pin functions and if we consider the additional pin functions for the port d is psp parallel slave port module which starts from rd0 that is psp0 up to the rd7 that is psp7 so 8 bit uh, parallel slave port is there which is assigned to the port d after the supply connections at 32 and 31 then last part or last section is port b which starts from rb0 at pin number 33 and last ended at rb7 at pin number 40 so generally uh, one external interrupt is connected at rb0 in terms of int and for uh, in circuit programming and debugging pc pgc pgd and pgm pins are there for the programming purpose while controller is need to be programmed so this is related to the pin configuration of pic 16 of 877 a microcontroller so if we see in the next table the pin functions are uh, mentioned that is first pin mclr mclr used during the programming or reset ra0 analog input 0 that is first analog input pin 
or iopore pin then uh, similarly for analog input 1 analog input 2 analog input 3 and fourth pin is timer 0 clock input TOCKI that is timer 0 clock input pin is there for providing the external clock to the controller in that case this pin is important so external clock is applied at RA4 pin uh, for uh, generation of event or timing that is pulses after that again analog input 4 analog input 5 then in case of <coughs> port E read write and control signals are additional pin functions along with the IO port and uh, analog inputs that is port E having only three pins but uh, all three pins carries the three alternate pin functions that is first is IO pin RE0 RE1 RE2 second one is analog input that is analog input 5 6 7 and third uh, alternate pin function is read signal RD bar WR bar and CS bar so all three signals are also available in port E when we are using the port D as in PSP mode so here the control signals read write and control signal from uh, port E are important to access the port D as in PSP module after that supply connections oscillators and then port C as we discuss that is port C is used for um, accessing the oscillator and CCP modules and port D is used for accessing the parallel slave port the most important two pins are RC6 and RC7 in these pins uh, one transmitter is allocated or assigned to the controller that is RC6 at RC6 pin transmitter pin is there for peak microcontroller and RC7 consists of RX that is receiver pin of the peak 16 f microcontroller so these two are used for uh, transmission reception purpose so when we are dealing with the serial communication like SPI I2C and other purpose, uh, USART communication. So these two pins are most important for establishment of the communication for transmission as well as reception of the data. So uh, this is uh, regarding the pin configuration related to the port C and for port D as we have discussed the PSP module is there along with the basic uh, input output connection. So after that we see VCC ground signals are there and RB0 is your external interrupt pin which is used for detection of external interrupt and which is connected at RB0. An interrupt is detected with the setting of INTF flag. So for next uh, pins that is PGM for connected to programmer while programming is going on PGC and PGD is also connected to the programmer. So this is regarding the uh, pin configuration or pin specifications of PIC16 of 877A microcontroller. So 40 pin IC is there and here we have discussed the DIP package uh, which carries only 40 pins along with the 5 IO ports and 33 IO pins. So this is regarding the uh, pin diagram and its description. In next lecture we discuss about the architectures of PIC 16 of 877A microcontroller. Thank you.